Hi folks, Matt Cox from Miracle Mountain Ranch. And uh, you know, at the ranch, we're giving thanks for what the Lord has done for us over this past year, how he has sustained us, how he's provided for us and given us wonderful opportunities for ministry. Giving thanks. If I could, I'd like to just share a thought with you using my trick ropes here about giving thanks. You know, in the Word of God, in Thessalonians and in Ephesians also, it uses this statement that we are to give thanks in all things or give thanks for all things. In Ephesians, the context of that is about being filled with the Spirit. In fact, it talks about the fruit of being filled with the Spirit as one who rejoices. They, they minister to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, and they make melody in their heart. There's a rejoicing that's the fruit of being filled with the Spirit. It also talks about submitting to one another. And I think you could also connect relationships, because it's going to go on. It's going to talk about marriage. It's going to talk about parenting. It's going to talk about work. All that in the context of this idea of being filled with the Spirit. And it also says that we're to give thanks and give thanks for all things. You know, when I spin rope, and I like using ropes to illustrate different truths from Scripture, people usually draw, their attention is drawn to the loop. And that makes sense. You know, that's where all the activity is going on is out there at the loop. So no matter where it goes, you know, people see where that loop is and what that loop is doing. But, you know, when I spin the rope, I'm not actually spinning the loop. I'm, I'm spinning this little tiny loop right here called the Honda. And the Honda is directed by this distance from my hand to the Honda called the spoke. Wherever I direct that spoke, it directs that Honda. Wherever the Honda is directed, the loop goes. I think about that when I think about being filled with the Spirit. One of the illustrations I heard a long time ago about what this looks like to be filled with the Spirit is sort of like how we used to play when I was a kid waiting for the bus. There was this culvert and there was water that would run through this culvert. And we would go to one end of the culvert and we would put in sticks and then we'd wait for them to come out the other side. And we'd race sticks to see whose stick would get to the end of the culvert first. That, that stick was completely surrounded by that water, completely directed by that water. That's that picture of being filled with the Spirit, to be completely directed by the Spirit, to be directed just like this Honda is. So what happens when things <laughs> fall apart with my trick roping? And, and they do. I tell people when it comes to trick roping, I can be a bit of a rank amateur. When things fall apart with my trick roping, oftentimes it's because something has interfered with this spoke. Something got rid in the way of that connection and is hindering me from being able to effectively direct this Honda. You know, it's been a challenging season for many of us. And there's been times, even this last year, that I've had a hard time giving thanks. And I've had to ask God, oh Lord, please show me what is it that's hindering the Spirit from expressing Himself through my life by giving thanks. It's a very important thing. Both Thessalonians and Ephesians say it this way, give thanks for all things, for this is the will of God. And when we go through a season of wondering what is the will of God, what to do next, I think we should always land back in what the known will of God is, and it doesn't get much clearer than that. Give thanks in all things, for this is the will of God. Because how we're able to thank God reflects what we believe about God. Do we believe Romans 8, 28, when it tells us that all things work together for good to those that love God and are called according to His purpose? If I believe that, then I can thank God. And that's a fruit of being clearly directed by His Spirit. On behalf of our family here at Miracle Mountain Ranch, may you have a blessed and happy Thanksgiving.